Good morning, friends. Let's start today with letter D. Here's letter D. First thing we always do, put our name at the top. You're going to be using a pencil so you can erase if you make mistakes. I'm going to use a bright colored pen so you can see what I'm doing. First thing, name at the top. Remember on the line below where you're going to put today's date. <coughs> First thing you do, trace the letter in the top corner. Oh, you know what? I started on the wrong side. I need to flip it over. You need to flip it over too. You should always start with the capital letter that's on the front page all by itself. So I'm going to rewrite my name and my number on the date line. Now, the first thing you do for letter D is you trace it in the upper corner that's by the picture, the really big one that's all by itself. So I'm going to trace the picture, it, um, the letter. Start at the roof, drag all the way down to the baseline or the floor. Then you're going to drag it out, swoop back in, and touch the baseline, the floor again. So roof, the floor, straight line. Swoop out, curve it in. Swoop in. I'm going to trace it three times. After you trace it, go on to the next step. On the next step, you're going to trace each letter on the line twice. Trace it two times. Two times. After you trace each one two times, go on to the next letter. I didn't trace two times. I'm tracing each one two times. So you're tracing each one two times. Now I need to count and see how many are on the line. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. So you can fit a finger space between each letter. Trace each letter two times. Five on the line. Five on the line. Five on the line. Five on the line. Now you're going to trace each letter each capital D two times. Pause the video, do that now. You should have just traced each capital letter, each capital D two times. I'm showing you one time, you should have done it two times. I should be able to see your pencil marks. You're able to see my bright pink marker. I should be able to see your pencil marks when I look at your video, look at your packet. Now, today you're gonna to show me a grow by drawing a triangle next to your best letter. And, or your letter that you need the most improvement. I think this one needs the most improvement because it's really wonky right here. And then you're gonna show me, so a triangle is a grow. And then you're gonna show me your glow, your best one on the line. Your glow, you're going to just circle. That's a glow, the one I did the best. Okay, trace the letter twice at the beginning of the line, two times. Then use your finger space and fill the line out. You should have five D's on each line when you're done. Trace this one two times. Then you should use your finger space and have five D's on this line when you're done. Remember to put a triangle by the one you need to grow and circle the one that Glows, the best one on the line. You're doing this for each line. This is how I know if you follow directions because you're listening to the video directions. Find the letter D, uppercase, or draw a circle around it. They did the first one for you. Has the video finished this page? You should have just finished this page. Now we're going to do lowercase d. It's a lot like lowercase b because it has a circle and a stick, a tall stick. However, the tall stick is on the other side of the circle this time. You're going to trace your upper, your circle and stick three times in the corner. I'm going to draw my circle, then my stick. Circle, then my stick. Notice my circle starts at the dotted line, makes it all the way back around. I touch the floor, I touch the dotted line. Then when I draw my stick, I start at the ceiling, the roof, and go all the way down to the floor. Dotted line to floor. Ceiling to floor. After you trace 
this D three times, go down and trace all of the black letters that are on the line. You're going to trace each one two times. Pause the video, finish this line. Now you're going to do this line. Trace each letter two times. And starting at the dotted line, go into the floor, then I draw my stick, ceiling to floor. It's a tall stick, ceiling to floor. You're tracing each letter two times. Miss Helmick only did it once. I'm going to be able to tell if you did it twice when I look at your packet, so don't waste your time and have to do it. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. So I need five on each line. Trace it, write it. You're gonna put a triangle around the one that needs to grow, or by the one that needs to grow, sorry. And you're gonna circle your glow, the one you did the best. This was the one that needs to grow. This is the one that glows. After you finish, the writing lines go down to the bottom box. It says find the lowercase b and draw a circle around it. They already did the first one for you. You're going to find the rest of them. Pause the video and finish this page. You should have just finished your lowercase d practice page. Now you're going to do uppercase d and lowercase d on the same page. You need to start at the top. That's the ceiling. Draw out all the way down to the floor and swoop out. I would practice this letter three times. Then go down and draw, trace it, and write it here. Oop, I didn't do a very good job because I wasn't holding my pencil right. I was holding my pencil like this. That's not how we hold a pencil. We hold a pencil by putting it between our middle finger and our thumb and then put our pointer finger on top. I went a little bit below the floor. I need to fix that. That one was better. So this one would be my grow. This one would be my glow. All right, go ahead and do your uppercase Ds. So you're gonna do this line, then this line. So this is one, two. You should have just finished all of your uppercase Ds on this page. Now you're gonna do lowercase D. Start at the dotted line, make your circle, touch the dotted line and the floor, then draw your stick, tall stick, ceiling to floor. Ceiling to floor. Dotted line, circle, trace all the way back around to the floor, then stick, ceiling to floor. Go ahead and do your lowercase d's on this page. So this is going to be number three, number four. You should have five on each line. All of your D's should be written at this point. Now you're going to circle the uppercase D's and lowercase D's in this poem. It says, hey, diddle. Diddle. That's the name of the poem. I'm going to do the first line with you. Hey, diddle, diddle. Oh, but we're circling all of the D's. The cat and the fiddle. Go ahead and finish the rest of the poem on your own. Pause the video. Finish this page. All right. Now we're on the back side. I started here. Now we're ending here because I started it wrong. You're going to trace your D three times. Then you're going to come down to the line and write it. You should have five on this line. Then go back to your lowercase d, trace it three times. Then go down to your line and write it. On each of these words, let's see, you can get this word two times. One time, three times, two times, one time. I want the numbers next to the line so you know how many times to write the word or letter that you're doing. But you don't just write the word. You need to trace it first. Then put your finger space and write it again. Finger space, write it again. When you finish with your packet, you're gonna stick it in the top tray. If you don't finish with your packet before we start meet, morning meeting at 9.05, you're gonna put it in the bottom tray. These are new directions, please pay close attention. 
finishers, put it in the top tray. Non-finishers, you need to work on it again tomorrow. You're gonna put it in the bottom tray. 